I'm extremely sorry for the inconvenience caused due to the technical issues. Am I audible now? Yes, yes. Yes, Madhuri. Hello. Namaste, Namaskar, Sat Sri Akal, Vanakkam, Adav. A very good morning to each one of you present here. My name is Dr. Madhuri Agarwal, and I am reader in the Department of Conservative Dentistry and Endodontics at MIDSR Dental College and Hospital, Latur. It gives me immense pleasure to welcome you all for the four-day scientific e-fest Endosynergy 2021, jointly organized by MIDSR Dental College and Hospital, Latur, and YCMM and RDF's Dental College, Ahmednagar. To welcome is to show honor. To welcome is to establish integrity. I would like to take this opportunity to extend a cheerful welcome to all the dignitaries. It gives me immense pleasure to welcome you all for the four day scientific key test, Endo Synergy 2021, jointly organized by MIDSR Dental College and Hospital Lagos and Vice MM and RTF Dental College, Emerson. To welcome is to show honor. To welcome is to establish. Honorable Professor Dr. Vishwanath Karad, sir, founder and president, MIT World Peace University, Pune. Sri Rahul Karad, sir. Executive President, MIT World Peace University, Pune, Sri Ramesh Appa Karad, sir, Executive Director, MIMSR Campus Colleges, Latur, Dr. Hanuman Karad, sir, Executive Director, MIMSR Campus Colleges, Latur, Honorable Yashwant Rao Gadad, sir, President, YCMM and RDF's Dental College, Ahmednagar, Sri Prashant Gadad, sir, Organizing President, YCMM and RDF's Dental College, Ahmednagar, Dr. Sharath Sam, sir, Managing Trustee, YCMM and RDF's Dental College, Ahmednagar. Mr. Sachin Munde, Chief Administrative Officer, MIMSR Campus College, Latu. Dr. Suresh Kamre, Principal, MIDSR Dental College and Hospital, Latu. Dr. Nilima Rajans, Principal, YCMM and RDF's Dental College, Ahmednagar. Dr. Sunanda Gadare, Head of the Department of Conservative Dentistry and Endodontics at MIDSR Dental College and Hospital, Latur, Dr. Sarvesha Bombe, Head of the Department of Conservative Dentistry and Endodontics at YCMM and RDF's Dental College, Ahmednagar, Deans and HODs of colleges all over India, Speaker Dr. Mohan, Sir, and Moderator Dr. Sonali Taneja, Ma'am, for today's session, all the speakers and moderators for the E-Fest Endosynergy 2021, Dr. Narendra Kale, President, Maharashtra State Dental Council, Dr. Uttam Deshmani, Observer, MSDC, all my seniors, juniors, colleagues, and students from all over India, welcome. I am delighted and thankful that so many participants from all over India have registered for the E-Fest Endosynergy 2021. I welcome you all again. It's a beautiful morning, isn't it? Yes. As rightly said, all our dreams, all our dreams can come true if we have the courage to pursue them. It's a great opportunity to organize and host the scientific e-fest Endosynergy 2021. Great things happen when there is a gathering of great minds. It is on occasion like this, we get opportunities to learn and upgrade our knowledge and experience. This scientific e-fest will be four day long event where nationally acclaimed speakers will enlighten us on very important and contemporary topics of dental sciences. There will be two lectures every day, starting from tomorrow, which will run from 10 in the morning. There will also be a question and answer round at the end of each lecture, where you can ask your questions in the chat box or put up your queries on the WhatsApp group created. The Facebook and YouTube links are present on the registration link itself. 
So prepare yourself to be excited and inspired. Now let's proceed. Light symbolizes brightness and prosperity. It makes the beginning of auspicious. Uh, it marks the beginning of auspicious moments and events. Before we embark our journey of knowledge, we pray to the Almighty to seek His blessings for the success of this event. Let's have our traditional lamp lighting ceremony and Vishwa Shanti prayer.
opportunities don't happen you create them here's a glance of the entire team behind endo synergy 2021 the department of conservative dentistry and endodontics of midsr dental college and hospital latur and ycmm and rdfs dental college ahmednagar
Wow, that was a really wonderful presentation. Now I request Dr. Sunanda Gadare, Head of the Department of Conservative Dentistry and Endodontics at MIDSR Dental College and Hospital, Latur, to deliver the welcome address. Respected principals, beloved colleagues, and all participants from all over India, we extend a warm welcome to one and all to Endo Synergy 2021, a four day e lecture series. Alone we walk, together we grow. I feel great pride to say that the scientific e phase has been organized for academic benefits of the students and faculty by two dental colleges, MIDSR Dental College Latur and YCDC Dental College Ahmednagar. And we hope chronicled huge success for this. I, Dr. Sunanda Gadale, HOD and Professor, Department of Conservative Dentistry and Endodontics at MIDSR Dental College, Latur, Maharashtra, take an opportunity on behalf of all organizing team to welcome all eminent renowned speakers and respected moderators from fraternity. I feel immense pride that all of them trusted in our teamwork and accepted our invitation. I am extremely delighted to pronounce that for the scientific e-phase, we have all brilliant minds in dentistry from all over India. I extend my warm welcome with gratitude to our speakers, Dr. Vivek Hegde sir, Dr. B. Mohan, Dr. Fatima Shenoy, Dr. Chandra Shekhar Yawal, Dr. Vinita Nikhil, Dr. Sai Kalyan, and Dr. Laura Mishra. I also welcome respected moderators, Dr. Karuna Karsar, Dr. Sonali Taneja, Dr. Shiva Mantri, Dr. Mahima Tilakchan, Dr. Shashi Rekha, Dr. Deepali Shah, and Dr. Shalini Agrawal. I extend my gratitude for giving their valuable time. Thank you all. Indeed, it will be knowledge bank for all of us with a wide range of topics. I would like to welcome dignitaries of event, our beloved principal, Dr. Suresh Kamre sir, Dr. Nilima Rajans ma'am, principal YCDC Ahmednagar, and Dr. Deshmane sir, observer from Maharashtra State Dental Council. We, our complete organizing team, are thankful to Dr. Vishwanath Karar sir, Sri Rahul Karar sir, Sri Ramesh Appa Karar sir, Hanumant Karar sir, for great support and constant encouragement in academic development. Our team would like to be Specially mention about Mr. Sachin Munde, Chief Administrative Officer, Mr. Hanke, Mr. Jante, and all technical team for working meticulously to make this event successful. I appreciate support and encouragement from Dr. Vivek Hegde, sir, President of Indian Endodontic Society, and Dr. Viva Hegde, President of Indian Association of Conservative Dentistry and Endodontics. Thank you so much for best wishes, sir and madam. Last but not least, I again welcome all the participants who have registered in Endosynergy 2021. Wish happy learning and enjoy this scientific extravaganza. Thank you. Thank you so much, ma'am. It is a moment of happiness that we have got numerous blessings and best wishes of eminent personalities from all over India. Through WhatsApp and through emails, we have special messages from the presidents of IACD, Dr. Vibha Hegde, ma'am, and IES president, Dr. Vivek Hegde, sir. President of the Indian Association of Conservative Dentistry and Metodontics, on behalf of the head office of ICA, 
I send my warm wishes to the E-Fest webinar, which has been hosted by MIDSR Dental College and Hospital in Lakhon, and YCMM and RDM Dental College and Madhnagar. ISCD has always been on the helm of academic activities, and we look forward with a vision to support all the academic uh, achievements, collaborations, and the scientific platforms that one could explore. Uh, it is very interesting to know that today's webinar has an excellent language of speakers, moderators who have participated in this event. Not only that, it is also interesting to know that the topics that have been selected for this webinar are a wide range of topics covering most of the uh, clinical and the uh, research based findings. <laughs> so I congratulate the entire team for this marvelous task and having explored this big platform. And what is more heartening for me is to see that despite the nuances that have been faced by the organizing team in this part of the state, they have still come out very successfully uh, overcoming all the obstacles and managed to put up this grand show. I was happy to know that they have more than 600 participants who have uh, registered for this uh, webinar series. Uh, I would like to thank at this juncture the organizing committee uh, and for giving me this opportunity and congratulate Dr. Sunanda Karani and Dr. Sarvesha for this excellent efforts that they are making and it sure is going to be a grand success. I wish them good luck and success in their first ever venture and I'm truly proud to be a part of this and extend my Best wishes from the head office. Thank you. Hi, everybody. This is the big idea. Wishing Hindu Synergy 2021 great success. I know Dr. Sunanda, Sarvesha, their and their team have put up a good show. I've seen a lineup of speakers. On behalf of Indian Democratic Society, as a president, I would like to extend our best wishes to all of us. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. And thank you so much, ma'am. Your wishes mean a lot to us. It added a little more confidence, confidence and encouraged us to put all our efforts to make this event a grand success. Now, I request Dr. Sarvesha Bhunve, ma'am, head of the Department of Conservative Dentistry and Endodontics, at YCMM and RTF Dental College, Ahmednagar, to speak few words. Good morning, everyone. This is Dr. Sarvesha Bhunve. It gives me immense pleasure to welcome you all for this uh, national webinar series uh, organized by two colleges, MIDSR College Latur and YCMM and RTF Dental College, Ahmednagar. One Sanskrit shloka, na chorya haryam, na charaja haryam, na bhartru bhajyam, na cha bharakari, vayek rute vardhata eva nityam, vidyadhanam sarvadhana pradhan. It means education or knowledge is the greatest wealth among all. Because no one can steal it, no one can snatch it. It is very light in weight. And the most important thing, it increases on sharing. It expands on spending. So first of all, I would like to thank technology, which helped us to be connected and helped us to share knowledge, even in this pandemic situation. Uh, which tested our uh, patience and endurance. So, uh, but however, I must say, that good technology can never replace a good teacher. Of course, good technology in the hands of good teacher can bring great transformation. So we are really very happy, feel extremely happy to have such great teachers and researchers across India who have accepted our invitation 
to enlighten us with their experience and knowledge. The number of registrations itself speak volumes about the speaker. So on behalf of organizing committee, all the members of the committee, I would like to thank all the speakers and moderators who have accepted our invitation and believed in us. Today's uh, speaker, I, I should start with them, Dr. Uh, B. Mohan, sir, and Dr. Taneja, ma'am, as uh, moderator. So I must thank everyone, Dr. Vinita Nikhil, ma'am, Dr. Shiv Mantri, sir, Dr. Laura Mishra, Dr. Shalini Agrawal, Dr. Vivek Hegde, sir, Dr. Karunakar, sir, and Dr. Chandra Shekhar, and Dr. Shashirekha Govin, Dr. Sai Kalyan, Dr. Mahima Tilakchan, Dr. Pratima Shinoy, and Dr. Dipali Shah. Thank you so much. Special thanks to ISCD President, Dr. Viva Hegde, ma'am, and uh, IES President, Dr. Vivek Hegde, sir, for their best wishes and support and encouragement. It's a matter of pride for all of us that they both belong to our state, Maharashtra. Thank you. Uh, the HOD, the staff and students of various colleges are specially thanked for their participation. Um, I owe much gratitude to the principal, Dr. Suresh Kamre, sir, of uh, MIDSR Latur and Dr. Nilima Rajams, ma'am, of uh, YCMM and RDF Dental College Ahmednagar and management of both colleges for their enormous support. Lastly, let me remind you all that we, have, we uh, are going to join and enjoy upcoming World Endodontic Online Congress, IFA 2021. Uh, we are really very excited for that also. Collectively, we can strive together to enrich our speciality. Uh, I think it is uh, fair to conclude in Marathi. Tuma sagyanche manapasun abhar dhanyavad. Thank you, Thank you so much, ma'am. Thank you so much. I know we all are excited to hear Dr. Mohan because he's going to speak on one of the most interesting topic, Smile Makeover with Venus, and that many of you have spared time from your busy schedules. I do not want to take much of your time. And before I hand over to Dr. Anita Kare to introduce today's moderator, Dr. Sonali Taneja, ma'am. I want to say once more on behalf of the entire team of Endosynergy 2021, welcome. I encourage you to take full advantage of this four-day scientific e-fest. Thank you. A very good morning to all. It's a great pleasure to have Dr. Sunali Taneja, ma'am, as a moderator for today's session. I also request, ma'am, to share some clinical tips, her own clinical tips after the session. Uh, coming to the introduction, she is the head of department of uh, conservative dentistry and endodontics in ITS CDSR Muradnagar College. Ma'am completed her graduation and post graduation from DAV Yamunanagar College. She was awarded Best Student Award and Best Post Graduation Award uh, in her post graduation. Being a passionate academician, Ma'am has more than 55 national and international publication in her credit. She is a postgraduate guide since last 14 years and she has guided many original research works sponsored by ICMR. Ma'am is also co-author for more than six books. Ma'am was vice president uh, for the ICD and executive committee of IES. Sonali Taneja, ma'am, is also associate editor of General of Conservative Dentistry. She has many awards and medals in her credit. Thank you, Sonali, ma'am, for being with us. Now, I request Sonali Taneja, ma'am, to introduce our today's speaker, uh, Dr. B. Mohan, sir. Sonali, ma'am. Thank you, Dr. Anita, for your kind words. Good morning, one and all. It's always a privilege introducing my friend, Dr. Mohan Bhuvneshwaran, who is a renowned aesthetic dentist. 
Dr. Mohan completed his post-graduation in conservative dentistry in 2001 from Government Dental College, Dr. MGR Medical University, Chennai. He started teaching in a dental school from 2001 onwards and later headed the Department of Conservative. In 2013, he took over as Associate Dean of the Dental School of SRM University and served in that position for one year. Now he is into full-time private practice, which he owns since 2001. It's a multi-speciality hospital. He became an accredited member of AACD in the year 2014. And early in the year 2015, he started his own training center and served as chief academic officer. He trains postgraduate practitioners in the field of cosmetic dentistry and motivates them towards accreditation. He started the first study club in, the Indi in India affiliated to AACD. He is presently the board of director of AACD and he was the past, past president of American Board of Cosmetic and Aesthetic Dentistry. He is the founder president of Academy of Cosmetic Dentistry India and affiliate of AACD. He has served as Joint Secretary for nine years and General Secretary for five years for the Indian Association of Conservative Dentistry and Endodontics. He's got more than 30 publications to his credit. He has received fellowship from the Academy of Dentistry International in the year 2018 and has undergone extensive training in composites and ceramics in Switzerland and USA. He delivers lectures and conducts hands-on program in the field of cosmetic dentistry, not only in India, but worldwide. He's a recipient of various awards, Smile Center of the Year 2014, 15, 16 by Famden, Outstanding Dentist of the Year 2015, awarded as the Best Cosmetic Dentistry of the Year 2016 by Lifestyle Awards, awarded the best affiliate leader of AACD for the year 2017, won the Famden Superstar Award for the year 2018. He's also a recipient of EY Award for Outstanding Service for the year 2020, awarded by AACD. And he's presently the branded educator for the American Academy of Cosmetic Dentistry and Indian Association of Conservative Dentistry and to you, Dr. Mohan B, for an enlightening lecture, as always. Welcome to you, Dr. Mohan B. Thank you. Thank you so much, ma'am, for that kind introduction. Uh, our relationship is so strong that we both have <laughs> no introduction, but still, you did such a long introduction. Thank you so much. And uh, I would like to congratulate the organizers, Dr. Sunanda and Dr. Sietza, ma'am, for and the entire organizing team for uh, this wonderful program. And thank you for giving this opportunity, the honor to speak on the first day. Yes. <laughs> so really, really, thank you so much. Um, and ma'am, thank you so much for that kind introduction once more. And also the participants, though we are not seeing them, uh, they are seeing us. So I'm really thankful to each one of those participants over there who's giving their time to learn. I really, really appreciate and thank you so much for that. Because like ma'am told, education is very important for us. And uh, in this next one and a half hours, that's what is the time allotted. We are sorry that we are half hour late, but uh, by 12.30, we'll finish. I never do this, but I think I have the liberty to take the permission of the chairperson and the organizers. I might extend five minutes, ma'am, that's all, maximum. So that's what I'm looking at. So um, after that, I'm open to questions because I've kept my morning session completely free. So. Guys, please ask and prepare this lecture to encourage the postgraduates to think out of the box because that's what is very important today. And this topic is also interesting, like they've told. So please feel free to ask any number of questions. Let them, the other participants leave. I'm going to answer every bit of it before I'm going to leave because after that, I'm totally free because my lunch is only at two o'clock. So we're going to spend the next one and a half hours solid on lecture because they told me with questions we'll finish up. But I thought... It, it doesn't make sense in cutting short because I'm going to give you a completely different perspectives on what of uh, today's topic on smile makers, which everybody wants to do that. 
right? And especially a uh, smile makeover, if you tell, it's a vast topic on its own. But uh, there is a continuation with that smile makeover with Vinny's. So the minute we talk about that, people always look at this, Vinny's, oh my God, I'm going to do them. Uh, it's an interest that I want to do a case of Vinny's and put it onto my patient's mouth and make them smile happy, right? This beautiful creation of this beautiful smile is a dream of every dentist today because today's society, the needs, the cosmetic needs of today's society has increased tremendously. Uh, I don't have to explain that what I'm talking because everybody here wants to look beautiful, right? Because you're appearing in front of someone. Gone are those days people talking about age, sex, caste, creed, profession, gone. It's every individual, despite the age or the profession they are, they want to look beautiful. Forget about teeth. I'm, I'm not talking about anything. So that beauty concept is within us, knowingly or unknowingly. Today it's gone. Thanks to social media. I'm going to talk about it. So uh, I've mainly prepared this lecture to address the young graduates and the postgraduate. But on the other hand, if we do not evolve ourselves, we are out of the race already, right? So if I was talking the same dentistry, I finished in 2001. And if I was talking about the same dentistry, what I was taught in 2001, or I was practicing in 2004, five, I would not be right in front of you. Evolving, learning, unlearning, evolving, learning, unlearning. This is a continuous process. And that is the key role of this continuing dental education programs. I hope during this pandemic, everybody is safe. And let's once more pray to the Almighty that we are out of this soon. I don't know if to thank on the positive or the negative side. This pandemic is brought together on the technological aspect, as ma'am was telling, right? Whatever it is, learning is very, very important, fine? And that physical learning is also very important. Whatever said and done, nobody could learn swimming in a YouTube video. So application of brain, we learn, unlearn, evolve, do that. And thinking out of the box is very, very important. See, uh, um, as an educator, what is my role is to motivate you to think. I can give a textbook. I can give a huge textbook here. I can make a PDF of this presentation, send it across to ma'am. Ma'am, I'm slightly busy today. Can you distribute? Let them learn. Um, that is not. It may be a e-learning platform, what we are right now doing. But my job today in this next one and a half hours is to motivate you to think, not to dictate and tell you these are the points. If I'm doing this, I'm not a good educator, right? The next time you see a case, I want you to start thinking, oh, this, this, this is like a mathematical equation, not there, go do no more mechanical dentistry. I mean, it's not because of COVID. Even three years before COVID, I was just telling that stop with this air outer handpiece. We are done with that. So my dear participants, my whole aim of this presentation would be for each one of you to create such beautiful smiles, healthy, long lasting smiles, but with more of thinking going into it, not on a mechanical perspective. So the beauty sense has gone up so much and that's when the term cosmetic dentistry is also become a buzzword. It's not new, it's been there for so many years together. And now people are, everybody wants to put that cosmetic dentist, cosmetic dentist, creating a beautiful smile. Creating a beautiful smile is not that you put uh, laminates from canine to canine and take a beautiful picture, oh dad, I've done a beautiful job. No, that's not cosmetic dentistry. Cosmetic dentistry is a multi-medical specialty. It's not even dental, it's multi-medical speciality because we have the plastic surgeon, we have the dermatologist along with us to perform the entire, it's complete transformation of the patient, what we are looking at, right? So that is what is cosmetic dentistry and everybody wants to become cosmetic dentistry. I would love everybody to become one, but a quality dental practitioner. That is what I'm looking at. We read books, we apply them. That is what is more important. The translation should be there. I read a book, then that has to clinically get translated. If that's not happening, then why do we have to read? Absolutely no point. I don't call myself a professional. So that is what is very important, but we need to add spices to it. What are these spices? Are the 
technological evolution happening around us. Uh, once again, thanks to the social media, which has brought so much awareness. Today, we call them Google patients. We call them whatever. My patients are already telling me the treatment. Doc, do veneers for me. Do this for me. Do that for me. I get a shot. Come on, man. It, there was a time when I wanted to do something. Then my whole concept changed. Then it's now you want me to do something. No, that's not the way it works. What works is what works best for the patient. Today morning, you go and it is that you wanted to do a veneer and you select a case for a veneer. No, that's that's not the way we work. So today, to show to the world what we are is there. If you call it you Facebook, Instagram, whatever social media you name, they want to put up the picture of beautiful smile. Here are all my patients there, happy to smile, always posting, following me. Um, absolutely, they're all non-dentist and everybody in, uh, either in RG or in acting or something, they all are happily smiling, right? Here it is, happy smiling. They, they want to show, they are so happy that, I'm also happy to see them showing their teeth and telling, hey, somebody's good or which dentist did it and somebody not good, which stupid dentist did, did, did this job to you? No, I don't want because uh, doing a smile is putting a signature over the patient's face. I always tell that it's not important. Not only my patients, even me, I want to put a picture of, oh my God, I want to show, oh my God, I'm looking good, let me post it. So it is that technological evolution which doesn't stop for the youngsters. Everybody has to get evolved. Otherwise, we will not be able to move forward in the dentistry what we are practicing today. And that is what is emotional dentistry, right? It is not like any other part, like a surgeon operating on a carcinoma or something. This is much more than, the smile is much more than the physics or the mathematics, right? It is an emotion, um, a smile. <laughs> it, it comes with the joy from the heart. It's not that, hey, come on, smile. Nobody's going to smile, come on. It's an emotional dentistry. Patients should get emotionally attached to the treatment plan. It's very important. Hey, I explained so much to the patient, but he, she never accepted. So that is also another lacuna in our curriculum, which I've been talking for a long time that 2001, I finished my practice and then nobody taught me how to practice. Nobody taught me how to practice. Nobody taught me how to set up a clinic. Nobody taught me how much to charge. There's a lot of issue going on and charging a patient also. People don't know how to charge. Okay, the clinic next to me charged 2000. I will charge 2000 or I, I have a little extra setup. I might charge 2000. Fine. That's a different thing. I'm not going to discuss on that. That is a totally practice management is different. But why am I talking about emotional dentistry here is that today, I go to a shop, forget dentistry, I go to a shop to buy something. I got a new mobile, okay? Wow, it's nice, right? Mm, I want to buy it. I'm getting emotionally attached to this device, right? That's all, I'm locked. The minute I'm locked, maybe not today, but maybe later, that is always in the back of the mind which I want to get it done. That is the emotional attachment which we need to bring into the patients because smile is not only beautification process, there might be some technical issues in which the smile has to be corrected. And why to deny a patient with a beautiful smile? It, a, a lot of literature support is there that the performance level escalates up when the patient knows that he or she looks good. So it is our responsibility to make the patient he or she look good. And smile is an integral part of looking good because you want to speak. Right? So I convey a treatment plan in a mechanical way and there is no link. That link is what is very important. What is the link I'm talking about to show it to you? What link I mean with the patient? It's not that a patient is walking. A patient is my patient, my family. I need to have that emotional bond. Nobody actually, after all these years, patient come with the mindset of getting treated to me, but that doesn't uh, Break me if I'm doing the route what I travel. The route what I travel is important. Every patient, though he or she has already decided to get the treatment done with me, it is my uh, a very, very important factor to get emotionally linked with the patient. If the patient gets emotionally linked to the treatment plan, what you're telling, 100% they're getting it done. 100% they're getting the treatment done. So what is this emotional link I'm talking about? Look at this. Mm, happy, I'm happy. And suddenly she, she's in Australia now. And suddenly uh, she messages me, Doc, there you can read the message. My smile looks so good. Thank you. I thought it's been two years since I worked on her. And then I, what happened suddenly? Uh, it's been 
so many years she went to australia one and a half years and then lockdown she couldn't come back every year i need to visit her and I, out of the blue suddenly see that is what i'm looking at it's not that somebody comes and get it done no that type of dentistry will not work any further you will have to put that extra effort to make your patients really happy not only with that mechanical process of creating the smile simple as that because there's going to be a huge transition the minute we finish post graduation and entering into anything you want you want to teach you want to practice you want to do anything you want that amount of emotional input you put into whatever you're doing is the road to success what you're going to achieve so this is all reality this is just one of the texts i'm putting in front of you so it is a journey what we travel a memorable journey why are we all running so much to finish the line then look back and have no memories no that is not we actually the patient comes we treat for so long and some memorable journey the patients are happy dentists are happy the team is happy everybody is happy because at the end of the day it is a beautiful smile that we create a smile story who doesn't have a smile story how many of us listen see the, uh, if you give me i'll be talking the whole day because um, <laughs> i have my time limit today listening right just think all of us listen with only one idea to reply not to understand the minute we turn the plate listening to understand the whole life changes we all listen with an attitude how to reply to what the person is talking that's all we don't understand what the person is talking for me i spend a lot of time listening what exactly she is looking at what exactly you know mm, my son really embarrasses me in front of my cousins my dog my father doesn't work he just keeps talking to the patients forever that's my job most of the time it is no more mechanical dentistry i like i need to understand what the patient wants what is he looking at what is the exact status of the patient what treatment do i offer him if i offer this treatment what is going to happen to him is it going to be a long term success if it's not going to happen what are the reasons that is more important than actually doing dentistry i can pick up two of my clinic assistants here and teach them to do a beautiful composite restoration four three you cannot differentiate whether it's done by a dentist or a that's it assistant that's that's mechanical dentistry gone on those days right so we need to create a story create those beautiful happy smiles that are really really not only happy but also healthy right that's what is all about cosmetic dentistry so there was a small survey that was done in united states that clearly told, tells us that this is the newest growing branch the growth sector uh where everybody is looking into all these procedures like it was told in the introduction and uh, another survey was done why do people seek cosmetic dentistry right and it was found that 89% voted to improve the physical attractiveness and also um there was a survey done that probably we asked me a question um, if there is a chance what do you want to change in your face 72% voted for changing the dentofacial complex something revolving here that's good to us that's really good to us so when you do quality dental care taking care of the entire oral health of the patient and considering the patient as a patient you will be a successful practitioner please i hate somebody telling that what is the future of dentistry i really hate if somebody tells that there is so much in dentistry to be done which is not being done the minute you provide quality dental care see the amount of you don't need any huge marketing at all you see the amount of patient that come to you because they know that if i go there i get the right treatment the doctor works for me and not for him there is a lot of different i want to show you some cases like this presentation will also have lot of pictures because i believe that a uh, picture is a thousand words i have so many words embedded in those pictures which will stay in your mind rather than putting all those uh, theory slides theory slides which you do it day in and day out in the seminars and journal discussions so we are talking about dental evolution it all started in traditional then it moved 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 moved, moved. today we talk about digital dentistry everybody talks digital dentistry yes digital dentistry is the present not the future and also smile designing everybody smile designing that's why the the, the minute uh, i told them anything when they when they asked for a topic i told them you please tell me because 
if you tell me it's like pushing me if you ask for a topic i'll pull one old presentation then put it there or get chalta hai no problem no no i am not a speaker of that sort you ask what you want i deliver because that will also push me because why i ask for that 5 minutes extra time is that this this i organize this presentation completely for this lecture only so i i, I am not sure if i could really really finish it in one and a half hours i'm going to take a 5 minute extra there so this push is what is required for me also that's why i asked ma'am sunanda ma'am you tell me the topic then i'm there for you so obviously it came into my smile designing so that is the buzz word in everybody here that smile makeovers and smile designing the misconception here is that people think that okay smile designing smile makeovers can i into can i that's all. i do something from can i into can i then it's a huge case then i do my best every case should be your best case it's not that you work from canine to canine or do a simple central incisor like that sorry do a simple central incisor like that every case is important for us right you deliver the best every single procedure you do okay that component is actually 25% only of my entire treatment component right you see this pre op you see this post op the amount of time spent for me is only 25% the major component for me is the proper diagnosis and treatment planning i simply want to change the entire system if given an opportunity i don't want this quota system anymore if, uh, i don't know people are going to take it in the right way or the wrong way that is not what we are diagnosis and treatment plan is the key i can ask one question and drag for two hours with anybody that how much depth we know that is what is masters that is what i i, I mds was just a basic there for me wherein the building block started there and after so much detailing so much detailing that is what is a masters program what is the difference between me doing a class 4 and an undergraduate doing it's a class 4 but still i am a masters in that i deliver the best at the zone of excellence delivering my best at every patient that comes to me it's not that this is important to me i'm going to showcase this case so i do the best only for this no that's not going to happen to me that's not going to happen my i will not sleep that night but that is again a mechanical component why what is going wrong this is what is happening in a day to day op today i am uh, i need to complete two inlays one cast post and two rcts morning is decided who wants a root canal mm, we should stop that in order patient number 1 allotted to you patient number 2 allotted to you doing a class 2 composite restoration is as equal as doing a good root canal therapy diagnosis why only so many things in dentistry is only spoken about caries risk and non uh, high caries low caries is very important for me in smile maker also for the long term prognosis of the treatment what i'm doing the thinking is gone the minute the root canal is allotted cast post that's all this case is cast post the thinking is absolutely blocked the next thing is you just start treating patient is selected and treatment execution where is the question of biology here absolutely no biology are we just technicians here no we are biologists there's a lot of difference See, look at this patient this patient walks you know those patients who come in, oh doc, doc, doc. yes 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 why this hurry please sit down doc you know what i've come from a brother's wedding i am in qatar i'm settled i just have a month been that also uh, 20 days i'm busy with my brother's wedding okay what about you what happened to you doc i want four crowns she's already decided what she wants then uh, i see four crowns but where doc look at this i know you do lot of this job i want you to get it done probably um hmm, 10 days time i can you just finish it in 10 days you have not even made a diagnosis you have not even made a treatment plan the patient jumps hey come on let me listen to you what do you want you are 34 35 years old this is your problem this is how it should be treated orthodontics is a choice there how <laughs> they don't be stupid if ortho why will i come to you do something for me quick this is what is responsible dentistry no i don't absolutely i will not doctor please i didn't search anywhere people told you are the best 
if you still want me to the best and be the best i will do only ortho doctor please any other option ortho ortho i i took one hour patient got convinced for orthodontix because we know what is good for the patient 11 months later there we are patient was jumping doctor you mean a lot to me that is what is more important to me please understand the science behind dentistry not the mechanics behind dentistry that's what is today called as responsible aesthetics i would like to quote this when um, a beautiful quote which i love that people don't remember what you did but they'll always remember how you made them feel the beautiful human touch welcome a mother is always a mother a robot cannot serve me a food daily please that human relationships are very important it's not that just because i'm talking right in front of you every treatment is a success to me there are failures but the patient comes back with a smiling face with a failure to me because it's not about the treatment it's about them they know that doctor did the best but somehow it didn't work for them it is not um, uh, uh, even this phone is only you buy for 1 lakh and it's only for one and a half years guys and how do you expect your treatment to be a guarantee or a warranty given to them it is the best what we're doing if it succeeds or not succeeds it depend on so many other factors so make them feel happy that is what is very important because we are biologists we are doctors and we are not technicians please that doing dentistry you don't get happy if you don't touch that aerotor hand piece i didn't work anything today i didn't do any case erase that off i want everybody listening here to remove that off morning i don't mind even one day remove the journal discussion put case discussion i'll be very happy so much to discuss so much to discuss what are the treatment possibilities how to go ahead with this if i do this case what happens how do i do the prognosis when do i do the follow up why am i doing this follow up everything reasoned out there itself academics drops in without any evidence we don't decide on anything do you know that it's not that when i hate that people telling i'm a clinician i'm a mechanician i teach in a college i do a practice without academics no practice without practice there's no academics right so it is very important right so don't become a technician remove that off from your mind have a beautiful clear mind that we are dealing with life science not a carpentry job please please that is very important especially when we talk about smile makers that's why i had to do so much of introduction before we actually go happily smiling yes what did i do from canine to canine no just um, class four composites in both our centrals beautiful happy happy to smile happy to share pictures happy to live that is what is more important and obviously as i told you try to give the best in whatever you do i told a class four eh chalta hai it's a class four i do it yeah it's a class four for me nobody should find out what i've done it's a smile makeover for the patient maybe not for you because you are always thinking it's only from canine to canine it's a smile makeover case otherwise no this is what is called zone of excellence nobody should be able to find out what dentistry you have done when you have good sound academic knowledge clumped with a clinical skill this is what you deliver let it be one tooth or two teeth your dentistry should just disappear with the existing dentition that is what we call zone of excellence venues okay so uh, that whatever i told please remember before we go into the actual mechanical part of dentistry what we are talking about even though i'm not going to talk about do so much of reductions all those concepts have gone now venues right uh, smile makeovers can be done with so many like ortho it's a multi uh, see earlier it was uh, okay dentistry then we branched out 11 12 13 14 15 branches and now it's all integrated dentistry today you cannot tell that i am an endodontist buddy i don't know what uh, ortho what is today's concept in ortho what is implant how much size of implant do i do perio procedure is it a thin biotype will i take everything has to be taught by you 
you cannot deny a fact that we are all basically dentists specialized in one particular that doesn't mean you talk only about endodontics or conservative dentistry you should be equally well versed to conserve with, uh, converse with ortho perio prosto anything to do you have to do talk about that is what is today integrated dentistry fine so smile makers huge if you give me that <laughs> right from implants to ortho to moving the teeth to processes to uh, gingival procedure there's so much in it today's topic is coming back to veneers so what are veneers i don't have to explain much about it because we all know veneer or a laminate as a covering right uh, it, it is just a mask on a literal terms that is going to mask what is underneath i have a defect that defect is going to get masked right okay a dental laminate or a veneer is a tooth colored substance which is going to mask what is underneath underneath might be a discoloration might be a malformed tooth might be anything so i'm going to use a veneer to do that i want to break one small myth people talk about veneer laminate veneer for us it all means the same initially probably they were telling about that a laminate means uh, which requires very less tooth reductions or no tooth reduction you stick it on top of it it's called a laminate and if you do tooth reduction it's called a veneer but today we interchangeably use so don't break your head and all these what is the laminate what is the veneer come on guys let's more let's discuss science and don't spend time on that the minute we talk about veneer what comes to our mind is um i want to try a composite veneer case please it's not that what you want to do what does the patient want you are working for the patient not for you only then our practice will build up only then our skills will develop skills and not this this is important for me but this is more important for me my brain to think that will only make keep you young do not stop thinking if you stop thinking we all age as kids we ask so many questions why is the sky blue why is the water blue why is this red in color why is this rotating why is this stopping why is the wheel then suddenly hey, it's okay it's been like that forget it the age every person who discusses case with me here in my office needs a solid background of evidence what they are talking about we have case discussions because it's a multi speciality hospital like mamtol we all discuss with their specific days we all discuss cases together everybody has to give evidence of what they are talking about if not the treatment plan is never accepted we need evidence of this treatment what you are suggesting is going to work and then we discuss with everybody and then do it's not that you want to do ceramics or you want to do composite but we are going to discuss both today so what is more important for us is the case selection i want to show you like i'm not going to put you indication tabular column cotter indication i'm going to show you some cases which will make you understand when to choose what materials fine so here is a case of discoloration when you have a closer look at it intrinsic discoloration actually this is way back i remember some 15 years back a patient drops to my office and tells that doc it's my retirement party i want to do, look good i've saved all the money for it now people are mentally prepared that these treatments are expensive right it's not that he or she cannot live with that they can live but they are spending to make them look beautiful so yes bleaching mm -hmm. when we start working mm, okay this intrinsic bleaching is okay but it's not going to go away and give the results what the patient is what asking for the patient is not asking for some major uh, morphological changes or something else she is just asking to whiten her teeth so patient's requirement is to whiten the teeth what are the possibilities in whitening the teeth i would do a bleaching procedure i would do a veneering procedure well the bleaching it's, it has to be as conservative as possible is only bleaching going to work no it's not a work is not going to remove all the stains what you are looking at so i need to top it up with the veneers what veneers i do would be the next question so that is how it moves it's not that hey, shall i take up this case for composite veneers i've not done a case of composite veneer for long it doesn't work that please remember composites cannot mask discolorations rule number 1 there are only two rules which i'm going to tell you not drag you with too many rules this is a clear cut case for ceramics right now when you look at this case wow this is a morphological modification the patient doctor look at me t they are each in one shape um, it's not uh, beautiful like beautiful smile yes yeah i understand i have seen lot of peg laterals i see diastema i see axial inclination missing i see um, 
issues with the gingiva i see a short clinical crown i see so many things we chart out and diagnose the case and each addressing each problem and then come to a conclusion and tell them okay we're going to work on closing the diet it's it's an additive technique additive is i'm going to add so i can take up this case for composites because i'm not going to do i don't have to do any reductions i can just do it there asthma closure is a classical example of no prep dentistry wherein i just add so i can do a beautiful composite in this case so additive whenever additive comes to your mind you can think about composites look at this case this case doc something is missing in my smile doc i don't know what it is that's what the patient will tell because the patient doesn't know that the centrals and laterals are the same width they will not be explained if they are doing that they are dentists and they are not patients doctor something is missing i don't know what is wrong with me all teeth are looking broad or something doctor yes proportion discrepancy will ortho work no you need to slice the laterals you need to slice the laterals to make them look like laterals because the centrals and laterals are having the same width enamel i am going to remove enamel then i replace them with enamel like material what is enamel like material ceramics so i replace the last enamel with enamel like material that is ceramic so the minute you take your burr and you want to remove some tooth substance that is always a clear cut case for ceramics so only two things i'm talking when there is discoloration don't think about composites composites cannot effectively create aesthetic results in discoloration cases so if i'm having discoloration no composite veneering and if i'm removing tooth structure i don't do composites only in additive cases i do composite only two things that dev that exactly draw a line when i choose a case for composites or for ceramics that's all the decision is already made then you create a road how to move forward like these cases hypoplastic cases right they are very good indica i'm going to show you this they are very good indication for composite veneering because no discoloration hypoplastic is i'm going to remove them right they are already um, a little weakened area with, because of the calcium loss in the hydroxyapatite crystals so i'm going to remove them and add that's all very here and there little removal not the entire tooth structure removal absolutely no discoloration beautiful indication for a white foundation is beautiful i do a, a beautiful composite veneering here is another case wherein on to your right where you discoloration and that discoloration i am not sure if it would go away with bleaching if it goes away with bleaching then i do composite veneering if it doesn't go away with bleaching then i do ceramics i talk to the patient i tell them the route what we are traveling today i need to travel to um, mumbai then i decide i'm going to take a train or i'm going to take a flight you make the logical sequencing that's up to you that is what is treatment planning so i'm not going to put the mechanical properties and the physical properties and the chemical properties of uh, composites and porcelain the ceramics right in front of you right so how and when you make a decision between composite and porcelain is right there obviously the aesthetic level maybe people tell is higher with ceramics because people always are that uh, composite will discolor after oh, okay fine i do accept on a very very point not not one person and the longevity if i'm promising a 6 year longevity for uh, composite i'm going to talk about uh, 12 to 15 years that's what literature allows me to tell for porcelain right so that is the difference between the composites and porcelain so you know what i already spoke ceramic is equal to enamel composite is equal to dentine right so whenever i'm removing enamel i make sure that i replace it with enamel like material that is ceramic enamel like material not enamel actually equal to just for the slide i put it nobody can equate nature it's that like so dentine has uh, composite has the property similar to dentine right so that's how you make your choices now let's talk about ceramics so what i'm going to do is that i'm going to give you a small brief on the materials that are available today and i'm going to talk about the preparation guidelines it's not that you do 0.5 mm reduction gone or those concepts so i'm going to talk a little about uh, guidelines for prep what are the important factors to be noted for prep and then i'll i've hand picked just two cases i'm going to tell you how we worked on this cases so that you understand the workflow of the cases 
that we'll be doing with ceramics. And for composite veneering, I'll show the workflow because in composite, nothing much to discuss in the material aspect. And I will be showing some cases, two cases on com one case workflow and two cases on composite veneering. Then we close the presentation for Q and A. Coming on to ceramics, this is the classification proposed by Pascal Manier that uh, in his book is given this. So anybody who's going to uh, write about the types of veneers in your examination, this is what we should expect at this point of time, not that window prep, all those are dead concepts, right? Now, uh, type one, type two, type three, I've already discussed this with you. Type one is with resistant to bleaching. Then you take up the case for uh, veneering discoloration cases morphological changes if it's major then it's type 2 if it's uh, extensive then it becomes type 3 this is what pascal mani has proposed until date this is what has been followed his book is a very good book uh, galib gruel and pascal mani are two bibles for us when you're talking about that i know at a post graduation level it doesn't make sense to do that uh, two textbook because they are not exam oriented but still after your exams are over please try to get hold of these books they are really really worth gallup and pascal mani these two textbooks on Veneering gives us, opens our minds on biomimetic dentistry and also the concepts in the procedures of veneering, fine. So when I talk about ceramics, I'm not talking, obviously talking about metal ceramics, right? Today, everybody talks about all ceramics. So when I talk about all ceramics, there are two categories of materials, glass ceramics and oxide ceramics. Obviously, glass gives beauty I serve you in a ceramic plate. Wow, royal. I serve you in a stainless steel plate. Okay, that's what the hotels, regular hotels serve. So glass gives a lot of beauty. And in glass, we have the lucite, which is more popularly known to us as Empress, introduced by Ivoclovibodent, and lithium disilicate as Emax, introduced by Ivoclovibodent. Somehow, it's like the Xerox machine. It's not it's photocopying. Xerox is not an English word. Somehow Xerox introduced photocopying machine and everybody tells it, get a Xerox of it, get a Xerox. Like that, Ivo Club, we wouldn't introduce Empress and Emacs. They had the patency. Now the patency has got every company has an own uh, lithium disilicate and lucite, not anybody because it's a weaker glass ceramic. Nobody wanted to invest on it. So today lithium disilicate are available, but uh, <laughs> some things I have to accept that the literature we have 15 year follow up. I myself have a 12 year, 15 year follow up. And then uh, even so many materials have been introduced. We support Emacs strongly. That's from Ivoclo even. So these two are very strong materials. You see the biaxial flexural strength of 150 MPa that is after bonding of the lucite glass, the Empress and the lithium disilicate glass, which is now today equal to 500 MPa. Uh, your metal ceramics for your current information is 400 MPa biflexial axial strength, right? So uh, people wanted to somehow uh, break this barrier and uh, they did not like a monopoly in dental ceramics. A lot of other companies wanted to break the Ivoclovibodent's market play. So they started to introduce something called as oxide ceramics. Aluminium oxide, I don't know if you know Dr. Forrest Turner, he has been speaking about aluminium oxide for almost 30 years now. The minute I talk aluminum, you know, hey, it's metal, don't make fun of me. So I'm not going to introduce aluminum oxide and tell you, hey, come on, guys, there's an all ceramic. Hey, come on, aluminum is metal, even a kid knows that. Yes, so what to do? So Noble Baker, uh, Procera, 3M, Lava were very popular to introduce the zirconium oxide, which started with the 1200 MPa by axial flexural strength. Hey, who wants 1200 MPa in the mouth? Nobody wants. Are we the same dentist who are speaking about ceramic tooth on the opposing tooth? Metal post versus fiber post. Now, why the hell do we want 1200 MPa? Suddenly they realized that, oh my God, we don't want that. And so they started to dip down the strength and today it's come to 600 MPa. You know something? The best part of irony is that low strength zirconias are more expensive than high strength in Korea because world has understood that high strength is very harmful. They are dumping all that into the Asian market and probably one of your lab techs come and tell, doc, I'll do a zirconia for thousand doc, the same metal ceramic because getting the uh, disc for 600 bucks, which we don't want. So please, I need a lot of signs going into your practice rather than blindly doing a procedure. I will not mind if somebody is not working for one week. See, uh, I, I'll give you a small example, uh, in, not only in India, even when I go abroad and lecture, after my lecture, there'll be at least three people waiting the, after the question and say, doctor, can you do something for me? I don't mind flying down. 
did i perform a procedure right in front of them no the way you present yourself i can figure out whether you can perform or not for 2 minutes give me 2 minutes i can figure out if you can do or not do for example suddenly something goes wrong in this presentation you call a technical person if he is knowledgeable 2 minutes he fixes you know if he starts to mess up i, I think this does, this guy doesn't know anything so please don't always think about performing procedures right and when you talk about glass ceramics we also need to address feldspathic ceramics feldspathic ceramics are the initial glass ceramics the powder slurry system right people have forgotten platinum foil this is a picture from uh, eric uh, my friend in los angeles have dental laboratory if we have to do platinum foil technique i have to ship it all the way to los angeles california to get this done hand skills it's so expensive it's uh, if i'm right it's 400 dollars per crown per laminate patients are willing to pay for aesthetics they do still refractory dye technique how many of us know refractory dye technique so please don't think that i am a conservative dentist only a prosto no we need to know each and every bit of all this how many people are doing all this maybe why do i have to do it is a question because people think that there are easier ways easier ways yes but when you're looking at this level of all these are laminates right in front of you i'm talking about zone of excellence if you want to stand up show up yourself zone of excellence we are not running a race here i'm going to finish first and tell hey i came first look back nothing left i have lot of memories to live up please it's not a race it's not a quota race i don't mind if you did 200 cases or 500 cases 10 cases with zone of excellence shows that how much dedicated and determined you are this is the pre operative situation of this case right refractory dye technique cumbersome but still it works we have certain cases when we select all these techniques why do people don't venture into all this because the evolution of digital technology put a block mill it even i do this milling press it mill it get it done but please remember the level of aesthetics drop down the more digital you go it's it's it's, it's an open truth everybody knows that why people are not going back into that platinum foil technique it's expensive i agree time consuming i agree technique sensitive i agree very very difficult to handle everything is but when you do that wow that wow factor right definitely there'll be a difference in that wow factor so it's not that just because i want to do refractory dye technique i don't push the patient for the refractory dye technique so this is a quick chart which will make you very easy to understand that um feldpathic lucite lithium disilicate feldpathic is that uh, powder slurry system lucite glass is for you to easy to understand the ips empress lithium disilicate is the emax from ivoclav evident and feldpathic noritech is there vita is there ivoclav design is there uh, shofu products are there gc products are there a lot of products are there aesthetics is at the top but the strength is low strength is high for lithium disilicate easy to understand very easy to understand right i'm not confusing you with physical properties mechanical properties chemical properties all that this is a beautiful chart which will stay in your mind and also one more important thing is that there only lithium disilicate can mask discoloration lucite glass and feldpathic cannot mask discoloration so when i'm talking about discoloration masking i don't have any choice other than putting lithium disilicate even though if lucite is my favorite or feldpathic is my favorite we don't have any choices so it is like a mathematical equation arranging my cards okay what do we want to do if i use this what will happen if i use this what will happen no if i can i bond it can i not bond it it's like building a constructing a building right uh the minute i see the ground a shall i put a granite floor here it's too early to decide boss i need to understand my foundation i need to understand how huge the foundation can be i need to understand if this foundation can withstand this building then i go over beautification process so understanding the entire uh, science behind this materials and the tooth is very important for us to proceed with all these smile makers cases this is the pressed veneers which is very popular compared to cat cam why is that cost effective so press technology is to press them do a wax pattern and press them 
yeah it's actually cumbersome like you do your uh, metal you do a wax up you do a um, you do the investment you do the burn out you do the pressing in fact today we mill or print our waxes that's a different story altogether this is just a basic presentation to motivate you onto the other side of dentistry then we do layering micro layering please remember only when you layer you get that aesthetics just if you press and you do some staining you cannot see these effects look at the gray scale image you see the incisal effects all the beautiful that's why we we analyze in so many aspects it's not that just because of this presentation i do every case is a protocol that so you you ask me i can pull out even now shut down this presentation take up some other case i can show you the same detailing in every other case who's going to check me nobody's going to check me that quality dentistry performed for your satisfaction will be the success for your long term practice right so staining is another option wherein you can apply stains and get the effects but that i prefer in the posteriors but not in the anteriors when i look at it, the aesthetics i need to really really layer so this is another picture from instagram other than this picture every other picture is mine this picture is from um, instagram i took a screenshot of it beautifully somebody one of my friend posted it so i took the liberty of taking a screenshot of it uh, this is how cat cam and manual looks yeah i agree totally hand skills see uh it is now we are a year and a half in this pandemic into the zoom meeting but still already people are bored eight people are talking about mental stress fatigue millions of years we have been having human relationships right we are attending conferences we never get bored but with these machines we cannot live that human touch is very important please remember that i am a digital person but still at the end of the day what little i meddle with my hand is going to give the beauty this wordings really i love these wordings as useful as machines are the final 20% touch makes 100 percentation so i'm going to end this material concept with only one thing make your choices wisely that's what they told when they wanted to drink the holy water from the grill make your choices wisely be a wise man right we are not carpenters we are dentists if that feeling goes into your mind today is after today's presentation i'm happy i don't know what i thought what i did but if that one message i conveyed to you that we are dentists and not carpenters i'm really happy for the opportunity given to me and for the one and a half hours i've been spending with you guys right this is the mechanical component thing after we do the treatment planning of course tooth preparations are there today if somebody ask me can you give the prep guidelines can you show me pictures how to do guys i cannot do that every case is a customized one because it's not mechanical it's biologically oriented if i remove even one single drop of enamel i should justify why i am removing you know in the western world you are supposed to get that uh, consent form from the patient that i am removing so much of enamel hmm it's very important biological just because enamel doesn't bleed eh hey, it's okay enamel doesn't bleed dentin doesn't bleed only pulp will bleed gingival will bleed so uh, nothing that is the reason why we don't feel we are doctors biologists imagine if enamel is going to bleed just think no just think one second if enamel is going to bleed will we ever put our hand air out our hand piece <laughs> we will throw them off so please think that enamel is telling you a story be biological don't just be mechanical so it's a triad in which we tell that the preparations have to be biological mechanical aesthetics because the ultimate success depends on the base in which we drive right it's not that i own a bmw the roads are bumpy even a bmw is a hell if the roads are smooth everything is smooth from fine i i don't like a bumpy air right i want a smooth air right which i feel oh wow i don't even feel like i'm traveling yeah it's a jet yeah that's exactly what i'm looking at so at the end of the day my foundation speaks volumes about the smiles what we create it is no guideline i can put a picture and take guys why don't you take a screenshot of that that solves all the problem next 10 minutes i don't have to talk about the tooth preparations no 
minimum requirements are dictated by the laboratory to me. I send a PPT of the case to the lab even before the case, the treatment plan is decided. The first appointment is only listening to the patient. If the patient has already scheduled an appointment for me, record making happens. Record making, the physical, digital, everything. Then analysis starts. Then the minute we come to a certain conclusion that this is going to go for an indirect ceramic restoration, lab, uh, Mohit, I'm sending a case. Let's discuss when you're free. We all open the laptop. This digital, what we are talking, we've been doing for years together. We open up, we either come on a WhatsApp video call or a Zoom call and we share the screen, we discuss the case for 15-20 minutes, we come to a conclusive treatment plan, then he tells me, Doc, there are certain guidelines which I want to give you, do reductions more there, stop there, stop there. Try to respect the technician, right? He's the one who's going to give the product to us. So what am I going to talk in two reductions here are two things. Margin. How should be the margin? Where should be the margin? These are the only two things I'm going to talk. Because when I'm talking about the laminates, it can be either 0 0.3, 0 0.5, 0 0.7 thickness. That is what is the standard thickness, right? Beyond which dentine gets exposed, which nobody likes it. Nobody likes a dentine getting exposed. Though we talk little about immediate dentine sealing, nobody wants that amount of dentine to be exposed at all. Here and there, little dentine is still acceptable, but if it's on enamel, eh, great, because how much ever bonding agents have been spoken today, enamel bonding is the best and the predictable bonding, fine? So when you're talking about finish line configuration, there are plenty of finish line configurations spoken today, and we know for our cast post exercises, if somebody's still doing it for the exams, we all talk about that, right? So I have so many, and uh, the only thing I'm going to talk about is, um, rounded shoulder and a knife edge. Knife edge? E? Knife edge means no margin? Yes. So uh, in 1938, when Pincus introduced uh, Hollywood the veneers, there was absolutely no tooth preparation. And then people did the veneers. And then slowly, the procedure became predictable. Then they do tooth preparation. Then heavier tooth preparation went to failures. Then they stopped the procedure, revisited. Then minimal, uh, uh, minimal uh, reduction came into picture. And today, the cycle is completed with no prep dentistry. Right? So today it is no prep dentistry with knife edge margin. So today we speak about, uh, this is a uh, chamfer, which we use it for the metals and this is a rounded shoulder, fine. So uh, rounded shoulder is what is that is recommended. And for no prep dentistry, we have such cases wherein we have these veneers uh, done on these uh, peg laterals, which does not require any preparation wherein we do a knife edge margin like what you see here, right? So this knife edge margin is also acceptable. So only two margins, one is going to be a rounded shoulder, the other is going to be a knife edge margin, fine? So look at the post-operative. The margins are completely blended. You don't even know where they are, right? So visible margin is not a technical failure, but an aesthetic failure, fine? The next most important thing is where do I place it? That is respecting the biological width. The, you all know what a biological width or the biological zone is that from the epithelial apparatus to the gingival sulcus, wherein when you go subgingival, you start hitting all that. So in my lifetime, I've never done a subgingival preparation because I know somewhere I'm going to irritate something. So I never venture into all this. So though the margins are supragingival, at the crest, subgingival. Supragingival are not an aesthetic margin. So always please try to maintain your margins at the crest. See again, it is a personal opinion what I'm talking about at the crest. There are people who recommend subgingival. Nothing wrong. They have their own evidences and they have their own logical sequencing before telling subgingival. But I would prefer that as predictable success. When I'm talking about predictable success, I want margins at the crest. I don't want to push it there, not knowing what my composite resin cement would do eventually. All that confusion is there. So I, on a personal note, suggesting you at the crest. Look at this. Look at the mirror image. Four laminates down on the centrals and the laterals. Look at the health of the gingiva. This is what is predictable success. This is what will make sure that my restorations are going to stay for long. It's not that only you do your veneer and tooth is hanging in the mouth. It's every bit of the component of white and pink sticks is going to give, define the success of a procedure. So please, when, when we do supragingival is that when we have um, posterior restorations, which I want visible margins to see when the patient comes, how the margins are there, what is the activity happening. Then I talk about uh, supragingival. Otherwise, it's always at the crest and never subgingival. Now, um, 
I always love to share my failures. That is uh, very important because it's easy for you guys to understand. Case taken up for ceramic laminates, obviously, or uh, the gingiva margins of centrals and laterals are the same, which are not to be the same. So I moved the gingiva up. I took care. I measured. I did everything, and um, moved the gingiva up epically. And then after six months, I see this, and there is activity going on. Somehow, I again violated the biological bit. Osteoplasty has to be done in the gingivectomy procedure. Unfortunately, though my calculations went wrong, then my periodontist came into picture, and then not not to be done. Not a wise thing. I made a mistake. Yeah. Okay. I I used to be careful after that. And then here's another patient. Immediate postoperative canine to canine laminates was done, and then the first follow up is on after uh, six months. Always we uh, review the patient after six months, and then I see this. Oh my God! What? the hell is happening here if this is a situation i can give it in writing that another 3 years or 4 years all these laminates are going to be out in the hand hey i didn't do any gingivectomy i didn't do subgingival i was at the crest i respected everything but the patient didn't respect your treatment this is wrong this is poor motivation of the patient i tried to speak to him so much but he had so much of accumulations if this is the way he is going to maintain the dentistry what we are doing it's like blaming please guys remember even if you buy a bmw today if you don't service it for one year the warranty is lost how come dentistry be a lifelong procedure if the patient doesn't come to me every year a review is very important at least at the post graduation level your success story should be defined only when you see the patient back patient not coming is a happy patient no i need to see my patients and see if my procedure is successful this patient coming to me after 3 years doctor see all this what you did i didn't know what happened all these 3 years Suddenly you come and tell that this accelerator is broken, brake is broken. Yeah, you never came for service. So the patient photograph is there, all evidence, everything is evidence, documentation, very important. Whatever happens on earth, documentation. Without documentation, nothing moves forward for us. Patient realizes, oh my god, it's that. In treatment planning, it's like this. You have this problem. You have this problem. You have this problem. It's like taking gun and shooting the patient. No. we always discuss the patient on monitors right my patient sits next to me here hey look at this so both of us are looking at a problem i am not looking at the patient patient is not looking at me both of us are looking at the problem <gasps> seriously doc doc when shall we start the treatment doc mm -hmm. lot of things going on in the practice right doctor i'm sorry doctor so the patient still sorry now they understand the problem they realize so he is put on good oral prophylaxis then everything moves smoothly for us so his next appointment is generally after one year but every two months we keep seeing him right this is another patient i told him mm, if i want to discuss this case this case can go on for a one hour discussion the patient is a fluorosis patient right you see the hypoplastic spots wherein brownish discoloration and in addition a coke drinker aerated drinking so you see the lower anteriors which has got uh, it's a multi uh, factorial uh, uh, disease uh, you have the uh, congenital deformity added on with the environmental problem that's what we call to that today we don't call it dk or non carious lesion biofilm mediated non biofilm mediated that is the terminology today so uh the there was a congenital problem added to the environmental factor of coke drinking then came the biofilm mediated that is dk otherwise somebody will get a dk here mm not a good case for ceramics unless and otherwise at least the periphery is surrounded by sound enamel this prep is all in dentin which is not a good prep for me but am i going to do a crown maybe if it fails it's okay let me try it out and see that was a reason and why this was selected is because of this one important study we have to remember done in the 2000 year 2013 published in international journal of prosthodontics by gal grul who told that porcelain when is bonded to dentin are 10 times more likely to fail than bonded on enamel so enamel at least on the periphery is important this amount of dentin is no longer accepted this is for you to tell that we don't accept this but it's okay once in 100 cases just you want to try it's not a predictable success then this article is very very important by galip gruel if you have time please try to read this article very good article okay so please remember enamel is the key to success 
always try to be on enamel that is dictated by the case so what happens if i have to do more preparation see i tell you go straight the road is not straight change your path that's when we decide move the teeth which will take me to a path which will get me to a straight road so if i feel my reductions are going to be more than 0.7 which we rarely accept now digitally we analyze the case not in the analog format then case refer to orthodontics a guide prepared move to this position then we do the reductions then we do the laminates so if you are not able to confine within yourself in doing a laminate orthodontics fine so please remember that and laminates of this thickness is possible today that is what i'm talking about 0.3 look at that it's 0.4 right it's 0.4 there 0.3 you're working on 0.3 it's very difficult you sneeze it's gone it's so much difficult it's not for a beginner it's not for a beginner at all 0.5 is what we allow for the beginners and uh, not for beginners to handle with this because Mm, it's a huge tension even today for me. So again, it was the finite element analysis done by uh, Pascal Mani who gave us the margins where it can be. So uh, we cannot have the margins for the incisors like what you see at the red zone, what we call that is a lingual fossa because that's where a lot of stresses are there. So for incisors, we don't overlap, only for the canines we overlap, fine. So all the incisors are flat edge, edge like that, the incisor edges. There are no longer window preparations other than no prep laminates. It is always when I do a laminate prep, it's always the inside edge of one millimeter is taken because you're working for aesthetics. This is exactly how it looks when you're doing a prep for incisors, centrals and laterals. Only for the canines, we do an overlapping because it's where the lot of trajectories of forces act. That's again a finite element analysis study done by Pascal Manier. The only one important factor we need to understand is the proximal subcontact area. What is this? Is that when I view the patient on the lateral aspect, you see here uh, the black line marked. If I put my margin there, not going within the subcontact area, that margin gets visible. So just to avoid that in the lateral view, I do a dog elbow type, wherein I go inside and then come out. Your preparation is done. You have a closer view, this small portion uh, in the laminate, you're not supposed to break the contact. If the white aesthetics are good, then you go inside and then come out. So a picture, it's easy. So there it is, the contact area. And what uh, the red line, dotted, red dotted line is the subcontact area, which you have to angulate your burr almost 90 degrees from the label margin, go inside and then come out without breaking. That is what is very important. Actually today, I don't know how many of you follow Maxim Belograd and um, uh, Instagram. Uh, we all work on electric hand pieces. See, all this started way, 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 way back before all this COVID, right? Preparations done. I don't know if you've um, seen my preps also. We work on electric hand piece. Uh, no air routers because air routers cannot give you that finish and hand control. So it's like a life is a huge cycle. Like you use your endo hand pieces and then uh, slow speed high torque. We have these electric hand pieces, which gives beautiful finish. So it's, it's, it's an investment, but still, the, when, you're, when the world is moving towards minimal intervention, so we didn't have a big problem when there was a COVID issue or something because we are already used to of non using the aerotor handpiece. I've all been selling almost for three, four years now. If I have a chance, I'll put the high aerotor handpiece in lock and key, and that's eventually happened thanks to COVID. Right, so electric handpiece are a good choice, and that's the preparation right in front of you. Right, if you want beautiful preps like this, that cannot happen with high speed hand pieces that cannot happen with high speed hand pieces uh, the slow speed is the key i told you more important fine so when i this is routine this is routine beautiful base beautiful preparation beautiful road beautiful bmw drive but this case uh, this case i need to move we digitally analyze so how much i'm going to stain enamel i'm going to stain enamel all this decision made taking up the case for laminates i prep them on customized base. My laboratory technician gives me a guide how to prepare, how much to prepare, where to prepare, where not to prepare, and there you're right in front of it, fine? So all preparations are customized and not just done blindly, textbook oriented. The cervical margin so much, 
cervical margin not more than 0.3 point for because beyond which you expose and um, and um, incisal so much labial so much no they are not defined no more defined it's customized now look at this how you evolve i talk about evolving right this patient drops into my office and tells doc mm, i don't like this okay um then i asked her is that the only problem or the overlapping is also a problem and yes doctor i want that also to be corrected she didn't open a mouth other than that okay in that case i can't do a composite if it was a straight forward class for i would have done the composite and finished i'm here going to reduce the mesio facial aspect of the to one so i'm removing enamel so foo, foo, i'm not very comfortable with composite i need to do a ceramic veneering okay fine then she asked me just this tooth doctor yeah you have problem with one tooth and i'm going to work okay doctor she's been traveling for i saw her history right uh, she's coming from very far off place but probably maybe there are a lot of patients who search in google and other things referrals and okay 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 fine she's coming at all i'll take multiple visits it okay no problem doctor no absolutely whatever you tell i'll listen to you doctor okay we decided then we analyze the case actually there is a distal distal facial aspect is inside i need to bring it forward mesial facial aspect is outside so so can i do prep only in the mesial aspect and leave the distal aspect then what happens to the margin this happens to the margin this how it is look at that so only the mesial half was prepared the distal half was not prepared thinking out of the box so look at the margin starts starts in the mesial aspect distal aspect to completely disappear half of the laminate was a rounded shoulder half of the laminate was a knife edge we want to do few more cases and then publish a article on this and it's absolutely vanished the patient then she opened up doc i met five dentist all of them told we have to do laminates in one one and two one because they told that is not going to come out properly thank you so much doc this is what that's why i travel so much and came doc i'm so happy with you so this is what is very important look at the palatal aspect can you find out which tooth was worked on this is what is integration biological integration of the restorations what we do it's not mechanical that's why i've been talking for the past one hour like this right so we have almost come to the end of this where the key to success is customized preparation is combining the material science what we discussed and the preps no prep minimal prep traditional preparations so it can be a composite it can be a glass based felt pathic uh, you can have emax and you can have the zirconia zirconia for crowns not for all these work okay so now the dental treatment i spoke about digital it's always planning that is what is important uh, there are a lot of apps that are available we mainly work on pre shaped designing studio which is very helpful for designing and also the exocad so this is what happens in my laboratory uh, my lab uh, does this for me if i'm lazy uh, more do this case for me more than he would design this case for me tell me where exactly to move the teeth how much of reductions are necessary where to move and then it's 3d printed it's all guided everything is guided if it's not guided it's a crime please remember that everything today is guided you cannot do blind then we make tooth preparations then we do analog impressions it's up to you now it's all digital digital impression goes then the laminates are fabricated then ready for cementation this is a cementation protocol in short felt pathic and lucite require etching with 5 to 9% of hydrofluoric acid with uh for almost 90 seconds whereas lithium disilicate emax requires only for shorter period of time then we ultrasonically clean them then we silinate them then we apply adhesive that is optional on the tooth we etch and bond then do the composite cement placement fine this is the short protocol of cementation then we go ahead with some cases right this is a case wherein the patient came with the uh, uh, retained in uh, lateral incisor the patient told doc put me tooth there it's going to be awkward then i had to convince the patient what is right for her orthodontics in 6 months time ortho was done i know what my art this is what is team work boss uh, integrated dentistry is the key to success for smile makers then what was my job absolutely nothing then i made an impression sent it to the laboratory no tooth reduction absolutely no tooth reduction and then unfortunately both the cases are no prep cases right okay fine 
no prep laminates on both the laterals. You have been the best dentist. You have not touched the tooth structure. Somehow, being conservative dentist, we have always testing on how beautifully we remove the tooth structure and not how beautifully we save the tooth structure. I have been struggling to tell this to the everybody. As conservative dentist, we should be evaluated for that, not for removing tooth structure. Fine, look at this next case. Post ortho case, wherein somehow the stomatognathic system was stable. We did a lot of digital workup. Teeth were retroclined. And a little bit of moving gingiva and enameloplasty would serve us to get the result what we wanted. After the digital planning, we got a master model, which we could translate to the patient's mouth. Look at that with the prototypes. We call them prototypes with the bisacrylates. Then the patient was damn happy. Da, please do it for me immediately. Then we did the required gingivectomy procedures, made an impression, sent it to the laboratory, got the laminates ready, then cemented the laminates for the patients, right? Uh, unfortunately, both are no prep cases. We're in absolutely. So look at the magic. Look at the magic we can do with the uh, absolutely no tooth reductions also. The, I think that would be the most motivating factor. So I would, at this point, it will be a crime if I don't uh, talk about my partner, uh, two of them, three of my partners, Mohit, uh, Dan Shaker from Salem, Eric Hap from Hap Dental Laboratories, Los Angeles, California. Without their support, Nothing. These are his photos, not my photos. Look at that. Look at the excellence in which we are working with. So to finally wind up with, we are going to talk about veneering with composites, composite resin. So when I'm talking about veneering with composite, the only choice of composites what I have is Empress Direct from Ivoclo Vividen. I have other choices too, but unfortunately they're not available in India. Um, Cosmodent, Reenamel, Microhybrid, uh, Venus, Kulzer, another good product. All these are not available, but somehow I'm so much loving this product. I've been using them for so many, more than a decade now. So I love. So case selection, like I told you, it's very important. You know your case and you select your case. And then um, once you've decided, this is what is uh, analog mock. Today, we all do digital mockups. We don't do any of these anymore. I get uh, 3D printed models and then the, my, uh, guides are ready the index are ready then we do the tooth prep tooth prep is more conservative than the um, your ceramic laminate prep in fact arabration has been done right we removed the old composite there there was an old composite and air abrasion technique danville the machine from danville it's 1.75 lakhs it's worth so see we are moving from air outer to all these options right so we air abrade create this and then uh, this is a shade mapping this is an article i think you will find it in google you search in my name you will find uh, this article wherein this gives you a guide to give a polychromatic effect of the veneering what you do so this is the veneering uh, composite veneering what we this is actually borrowed for ceramist this is not developed only for um, uh, composites it's for ceramics we borrowed it why? Because the centrals have to be really, really brighter, right? So we opt for the B1 and then the A1 and then A2, which gives a polychromatic effect. And within the tooth, the polychromatic effect, then we start working on the two centrals. We finish the two centrals. It takes us four appointments before we move to the laterals. Because once you get the two centrals right, then it's easy to build up. If somebody does canine to canine at one shot, oh my God, it's not possible. So this is a long procedure, a technique sensitive procedure would take long, but the effects what you achieve are really, really amazing. So once this is done, we do all the buildups and then we proceed, right? There are options of lab fabricated composites here. Unfortunately, at an aesthetic level, we don't accept them because instead if I'm doing a lab fabricated preformed composite veneers, you end up reducing more tooth structure rather than this itself. So we at this academy don't accept that. And if you're able to deliver a canine to canine smile designing composite, that is the highest level of clinical excellence what a dentist could offer, right? That's why I told you, right? Comparing composite and ceramic, we could establish the same aesthetic results what ceramics could do. This is a post-operative picture what you're seeing. So that's uh, my new detailing of the composite veneering. In fact, from premolar to premolar, look at the gingival hell, look at the tooth structure, look at the occlusal, 
everything done in detailing but only thing it takes a lot of time that's why and also if i work on 10 cases maybe one case would drop in for a composite veneering but i don't deny the fact that just because it's very difficult i don't convert the case please remember it is not that what i want to do it is what the patient wants right so uh, predictable success i've been talking for a long time right 2012 pre operative then uh, 2013 we finished the case end of 2012 and early of 2013 2017 was the latest image what you're seeing here is a patient uh, in 2014 and 2017 the patient is still with us and it was a really a proud moment which i could actually push a dream come true for me wherein i could get a cover page article on the journal of cosmetic dentistry an official publication that american academy of cosmetic dentistry you see that this is what i want you to search in the google minimal intervention with maximum aesthetics the article was there it's it was always uh, white skin images that was coming up and i thought will my patient come on that and guys what abdul kalam told us to dream not when sleeping when you are awake that's what pushes us let your vision push you don't push yourself to the vision fine dream please the dream will definitely come true fine this case what i showed you we did bleaching and then after bleaching we reduced the stains and then we took up the case for composite veneering and then we could achieve a beautiful result right so it all is on the treatment planning rather than actually doing an execution here again yet another case where in hypoplastic spots no brownish discoloration so absolutely again um, we didn't do any tooth preparation in this case except for removing with air abrasion we call that micro abrasion and then that is the post operative what is right so again all these cases have been worked with impress direct so the results are there in right in front of you i told you pictures speak a uh, thousand words right i don't have to tell you what so it is a skill more involved in this knowing the anatomy of the tooth structure this is what they taught us in second year bds i'll be very frank openly telling even in mds that carving was done on a mechanical perspective right tooth carving oh my god after our courses no people buy wax blocks and go i think i should learn carving somehow that integration was not poured into a mind if you don't do this wax carving your hand skills will not improve so wax carving people you know start off with drawing pictures that is a first exercise in advanced courses not only on the third day they allow us to test the composite so we are moving backwards so please understand whatever you do has been done with a purpose right for us to achieve what is called as not perfection but zone of excellence fine we are working towards zone of excellence the beauty that speaks for itself not to be spoken by you every dentistry what you do has to speak about you and your patient being very very happy so it's all about creating happy smiles and healthy smiles that makes us live and our patients live so only one concluding slide i have decision making it's not that i treat all the patients that come to our office i cannot do that but patients come here for that simple decision we make develop that that is more than enough other things just fall in place so please again after spending good i didn't uh, i promised for one and a half hours with q and a but i think again i overshot my time only one thing if i could remove out of your brain is performing dentistry and talking dentistry enough of doing dentistry and quota and all those things try to do a beautiful diagnosis and treatment planning with evidence every single step should have an evidence you know how much of time it takes i hope if that mentality is being changed i'd be very happy and if you want any further learning i welcome you to the american academy of cosmetic dentistry and um, that has actually transformed me in several ways so i'm a part of it now beautiful journey what we traveled which brought us to the next level of dentistry and still working there which has its own accreditation program and fellowship program those who cannot afford we have this academy of cosmetic dentistry an affiliate of aacd here uh, which also have these programs for you to enrich and showcase your uh, your skill to the world i also take this opportunity to welcome you to orlando next year anybody interested there are the websites there um 
beautiful educational opportunity i hope all settles by then and i can travel to orlando today cases are the most in orlando i hope all resolve so soon we're all getting ready for the next april and i'm open to all questions as i told ma'am any questions anything and those who want to follow me can follow me on my instagram handle people already follow me know about all these things so that's dr mohan b at mohan b and my email id is dr mohan b at yahoo.com so once again thank you so much for the patient listening thanks for the organizers thanks for both the hod's thanks sonali ma'am i hope it was a useful presentation thank you thank you so much dr mohan for an amazing presentation it's as always as always <laughs> i like that the best thing to wear is to wear a beautiful smile and if we as aesthetic dentists are behind that reason if we are the creators of that beautiful smile i feel nothing is more satisfying than this and i'm sure all the attendees who have attended your lecture may have benefited tremendously from this lecture and they're going to create magical smiles in future all the cases shown by you right from the diagnosis material selection case selection and the workflow especially the workflow shown by you and the comprehensive approach all that was really commendable i would like to add a quote from peter dawson that the goal of an aesthetic makeover is to develop a peaceful and stable masticatory system with teeth tissue muscle skeletal structure and joints they function in harmony and for harmonizing this aesthetic smile we need a perfect integration of the facial as well as the dental components and for this i feel your analysis the smile analysis the evaluation your treatment planning for the smile makeover all this should have a comprehensive holistic and a multidisciplinary approach it should not be just confined to okay the department of conservative dentistry but there are times when we would need an orthodontist a periodontist because we ultimately we have to start with the goal in uh, that the end in mind and for that we need to harmonize both the facial as well as the aesthetic component as well as the periodontal component the gingival if the zenith the aesthetics in the gingiva the periodontal health so i am in total unison with all your views that as one size does not fit all so our dimensions what we are going to create definitely there are golden proportions the recurring Uh, recurrent aesthetic proportions being uh, uh, advocated but as one size does not fit all we have to customize it according to the patient's facial structure the skeletal structure and as per his needs also so there has to be a coordination between patient the operator and most importantly the lab communication and according to me the way you told that the choice of material depends on the substrate where it is going to bond if it is going to be enamel we should go for the ceramic and if it is dentine composite but in case if you have to go deeper if we have the margin still in enamel we can still go for ceramics and another thing which you also told and i would also like to emphasize is minimal preparation and maximal preservation of enamel the margins should be preferably it 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 should be equi gingival or the crest of gingiva what you told and i have now will i feel we have got lots of questions on the i'll start one by one with your permission to i start dr mohan yes ma'am i'm ready i'm ready thank you so much for the inputs ma'am thank you so much okay first question is from dr sanket ghosh what is the depth of veneer for enamel hypoplasia um i think ma'am already answered that enamel <laughs> hypoplasia is a diseased enamel understanding the foundation is very important so uh, 
me doing a veneer on enamel hypoplasia is a decision made on the surgical table we i'm going to do a cbct for all this i'm going to do a radiograph which tells me the um, bacolingual uh, proportions of the defect so we know on experience that how much depth it's going to go if i remove those hypoplastic and still i remain in the enamel then it's okay after removing all the hypoplastic areas if i still have drop down to dentin i will no longer do a laminate i will rather convert the case to a crown because laminate is not going to bond and stay uh, stitch in time saves nine so the definitive um reductions like i am told it's customized i would not be able to definitely answer that how much depth because it depends on case to case okay do we require any specific bond for such veneers the second part of this question um today uh, every bonding agent that's used is an universal bonding agent that's predictable so if you are working on dentin i would still suggest you to use the universal adhesive that is the type 4 adhesive and if i'm working on enamel i would use the h prince adhesive that is the type 2 adhesive okay the next question is from dr pt how do we prepare for diagnosis for aesthetic cases like x rays or photo yeah uh what type of profile photos we, sh we should go for so the main four pictures what is required is a frontal head shot okay uh, i've already shown those head shot pictures a full smile and a retracted view like all the pictures what you saw here and uh, that is what we call 1s to 3 in photographic magnification and a close up shot 1s to 1 that will be the minimal four requirements <coughs> if possible we always round the globe people fall back to the aac 12 views so there is in the website you can see the 12 views of the aac globally everybody follows that in addition probably when i'm talking about dst we use the 12 o'clock portion the retracted head shot other than that everybody falls back to the 12 views of the aac then radiographs intra oral periapical radiographs we prefer rather than the um opg then uh videographs especially when we are dealing with the uh, gingival issues videograph is very important a physical impression and an analog impression what we call but today uh, we all make only digital impressions so i would be able to integrate the photos and the um, impressions all together digitally uh, any impression it's okay uh, if you are not doing the analysis the model is going to get scanned anyway the lab if you're working at that higher end laboratory the model is going to get scanned anyway if you have the scanner it's okay otherwise your model is going to get scanned so all this would help in coming to those whatever digital plans what you are looking at okay thank you and can we do veneers in erosion cases this is another question from a participant no actually erosion cases i need to understand the pathophysiology why it's happening because that's where a lot of forces come into play and uh, the enamel there if you remember i told 0.3 then you are into dentin already it's like uh, i'm building up a palace uh, bound by a fort the fort at least has to be solid enamel especially when i'm going cervical it's opening up a door anybody can come and go so my bond is not going to be very predictable literature tells that if i'm working on cementum margin the survival rate is just 5 years so no not a preference okay this is another question from dr pooja gaikwad how do we decide when to go for bleaching or veneer or both so it is like uh bleaching is masking discoloration i love this question it's very important because i have a discoloration which has to be masked uh obviously i told composite is not going to work um ceramic is the only option and i told you also when i put the chart of felpathic lucite and lithium disilicate lithium disilicate is obviously going to mask so how is it going to mask 
there is going to be some layer of opaqueer that is being applied so the more and more you try to put your opaqueer the lesser and lesser is going to be the aesthetic result so a glass which is transparent right it's more beautiful the glass which is getting more opaqueer is less beautiful so in order to achieve that beauty if i'm decided to do a ceramic also i would try to maximum extent possible bring down the discoloration and then proceed with ceramic so that my laboratory doesn't have to use an opaque or ceramic can use a, a a a translucent ceramic which is more aesthetic than an opaque or ceramic yeah rightly said because we do not want to compromise on a translucency that is the advantage of a ceramic over composite so it's better to go for bleaching first followed by the preparation then another question is do we need incisal overlap in all cases um 90% yes unless and otherwise i'm doing a no prep right uh and uh, we always remove 1 mm why this came is that um we are doing this procedure for aesthetics no compromise in that actually so if i'm doing a prep then we always recommend a incisal reduction of 1 mm so that the bond is also better she is asking about incisor overlap uh in incisors we don't overlap ma'am i already showed a picture yeah. of uh, yeah. fine treatment analysis yeah. 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 sorry i misunderstood the question sorry yeah. Yeah. incisor overlap no, no, no. should incisor, not go for not for incisors it has to be but it has to be a butt it has to be a butt it has to be but read even the systematic reviews the literature also has reported the yes. longevity as well as fracture resistance with yeah, that's uh, all that's all done with the finite element analysis yeah. another question the last question from uh, dr ashish do we uh, do veneers for attrition if we do then how is the prep like this is oh, very very question <laughs> attrition um it's an occlusal dysfunction we call that an occlusal disease um if you remember um i showed a prototype right we call it a test drive that is done with bisacrylates so we generally figure out the reason for attrition it's an occlusal dysfunction we try to rectify it and then put the patient on prototypes so uh, my patient on i do veneers in attrition also wherein i achieve you told ma'am what peter dawson told occlusal stability so we achieve the occlusal yeah. stability then i put my patients on prototypes uh nowadays we use cat cam a pmma temporary prototypes patient will be there for 6 months with that the logic with peter dawson is that even if the patient is lives for 100 years only 10 microns goes with regular wear and tear but people vary on that it's a religion you have n number of concepts going into this religion called as occlusion so regular wear and tear is very minimal so even if you put acrylic or ceramic it should not chip off probably the longevity there is a lot of difference between longevity and breaking away so if my prototype doesn't chip off in the 6 months of observation then ceramics otherwise what will i do rework my occlusion then come back so ceramics will work but the workflow is totally different thank you Thank you so much, Dr. Mohan, for your brilliant answers. You have rocked it totally. Thank you so much. <laughs> all aspects, and what a way to kickstart this amazing initiative by Team really MIDSR and ICMM. I really thank Dr. Sunanda and Dr. Sarvesha for giving me opportunity to be a part of this amazing even initiative. Me, me. Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nice to have you ma'am at least we we been wanting to see but at least this way you are seeing i'm bored of all this actually yeah <laughs> virtually we are seeing so much happy to have isia here in chennai yeah same i was looking I forward was looking to meet so many everybody here and then i never thought that it would happen like this i was thought everybody would come to chennai i don't have to travel i'll meet everybody <laughs> I'm, I'm just waiting. I'm just waiting for the physical conference. <laughs> yeah, yeah.
but through these initiatives at least we get to meet what yeah, we get to see you <laughs> yeah, we can get to see each other thank you so much thank you so much ma'am thank you so much sir for the wonderful lecture it was really really amazing flawless and full of knowledge and interesting clinical tips it gave deep insights into the topic and also revealed some interesting facts i thank everyone who has patiently cooperated with us uh, now i uh, ask dr kabir to give the vote of thanks good morning one and all my name is dr ramchandra kabir and i am a professor at department of uh, conservative dentistry and implantics uh, in mids our dental college latur a very great woman once said that gratitude makes sense of your past brings peace for today and creates a vision for tomorrow so that is why honorable principal mids our dental college dr uh, suresh kamle sir honorable principal ma'am yc wm rdf dental college nagar uh, dr dilima rajan ma'am honorable vice principal mids our dental college latur dr suresh kangre sir respected head of department dr sunanda gadale ma'am and dr sarvesh abunbe ma'am respected teachers of both the colleges and my dear friends i take this opportunity to express my gratitude first of all i thank my dear department and hence the college for giving me the opportunity to express my feelings of gratitude on this very special day it is indeed a very big day for both the departments and college to have started one of its kind of an academical movement which i'm sure will grow into an educational revolution of a kind in days to come it's quite an exciting time for everyone so i would like to take this moment to thank our eminent speaker dr b mohan sir for sharing his immense knowledge with us here today it was indeed an extremely informative lecture that i have ever heard on this topic dreaming full with clinical experience and tips this good teacher has made this topic smile make over with veneer look so easy that i'm sure all the participants must be yearning to go back to their clinic and implement his teaching into practice thank you sir i would also like to thank our moderator dr sonali tanesha ma'am who has contributed her valuable time and experienced knowledge and agreed to mediate this lecture session i would take this opportunity to thank our founder president reward professor dr vishwan karat sir for blessing our thing scale would have been possible i would also like to thank our executive president honorable dr rahul karat sir who has been a constant guiding light throughout i would also like to thank executive director honorable member of legislative council sri ramesh appa karat sir and our executive director honorable dr harman karat sir for their blessings and constant support and so again i would like to thank our chief administrative officer and executive director mr sachin munde sir my vote of thanks will be incomplete if i don't thank our respectable principal dr suresh kamle sir and our respectable vice principal dr suresh kangre sir whose experience and words of wisdom has been our constant source of inspiration and motivation i would like to thank the uh, head of department dr sunanda gaddai ma'am and uh, head of department of uh, conservative dentistry and endodontics yc wm rdf dental college nagar dr sarvesha bhonde ma'am for it was their initiative and determination even in face of personal troubles which has made this program possible right from its conception phase i would like to thank the endo teaching staff of both the colleges for all their support and believe me we have asked for their support sometimes even late at night finally i would like to thank pg students of both the departments who have been like the cartilages and tendons to our bones and muscle cd organization team i would also like to thank our it head mr raghu sante and his team who has shown immense patience to our constant demands and bickering finally thank you all the delegates and participants for supporting us by registering in such a huge number this has been really amazing most importantly we are extremely grateful for the initial technical hiccups which everyone experienced during the start of the program i request all the delegates and participants for their constant support right throughout this program on all four days thank you and have a good day thank you sir uh, as a gratitude will be uh, mailing the certificates uh, to dr mohan sir and dr sonali taneja ma'am Uh, so here's uh, coming to the end of the first day of this e fest tomorrow we will be having two lectures uh, starting at 10 o'clock of uh, dr vinita nikhil ma'am on recounting smart materials and the other lecture at 11:30 by dr lora mishra ma'am make sense of systematic review thank you everybody
thank you so much ma'am thank you thank, thank you so you, much sir. mohan sir and uh, taneja uh, sonali it was an excellent lecture we had enjoyed a lot sir more than that we had learned a lot thank you so much sir. it is a pleasure so much thank you thank you and because dr sonali she has added up her clinical tips which are really appreciable thank, thank you, you so much thank, thank you. you so much sir yeah bye ma'am bye 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 okay bye bye